Hello, history enthusiasts. Welcome back to Charting the Course of USA Presidents. In our previous video, we delved into the life and legacy of James Madison, the fourth president of the United States. Today, our historical exploration continues as we turn our attention to the fifth president, James Monroe. James Monroe, an era of unity, shaping the American landscape. In the annals of American history, few have left as indelible a mark as James Monroe. His presidency, a time of unity and growth, played a vital role in shaping the early American landscape. Born on April 28, 1758, in Westmoreland County, Virginia, Monroe was destined for greatness, but few could have predicted the profound impact he would have. Monroe's upbringing in Virginia would shape his values, laying the groundwork for his presidency. His courage was evident, even from his days as a young revolutionary soldier. He studied under Thomas Jefferson, developing a deep understanding of democratic values and principles. This tutelage would prove invaluable in his future role as the nation's leader. Monroe rose through the ranks, serving as a senator, diplomat, and secretary of state before his presidency. His tenacity and dedication were apparent in each of his roles. In 1817, Monroe took office as the fifth president of the United States. His presidency would come to symbolize a period of relative peace and unity, famously known as the Era of Good Feelings. Monroe's presidency held a distinct focus on unity. He believed in a united front, a noble cause that would bring together a young nation. His dedication to unity was evident in his inaugural address, where he appealed to the spirit of nationalism. This marked a change from the partisan politics of his predecessors. Monroe's foreign policies aimed at strengthening America's position on the global stage. The Monroe Doctrine, his most famous policy, asserted American dominance in the Western Hemisphere. This doctrine sent a clear message to the world. America would no longer tolerate European interference in its affairs. It was a resounding declaration of the nation's newfound autonomy and strength. Monroe also prioritized domestic affairs. He understood the need for internal development and sought to build a stronger, more cohesive nation. He championed the construction of improved infrastructure, including roads and canals. These projects connected rural areas with urban centers, igniting economic growth. Monroe was also a fervent believer in westward expansion. His policies facilitated the growth of the nation, both geographically and economically. His land acquisition policies resulted in the purchase of Florida from Spain. This not only expanded U.S. territory, but also eliminated a potential threat. Monroe was unafraid to make difficult decisions for the sake of the nation's unity. He took a controversial stance on the issue of slavery, navigating a precarious balance between abolitionist and pro-slavery factions. Nevertheless, his presidency wasn't without criticism. His decision to sign the Missouri Compromise sparked controversy, but Monroe stood by his belief in maintaining a delicate balance. Monroe also faced economic challenges. The Panic of 1819 was the first major economic crisis in American history, but Monroe's leadership helped guide the nation through this turbulent period. Despite challenges, Monroe remained steadfast in his commitment to the American people. His legacy is one of unity, growth, and resilience. Monroe's presidency ended in 1825, but his influence remained. His policies and leadership laid the groundwork for America's development into a global power. Monroe passed away in 1831, leaving behind a powerful legacy. His era of unity shaped the American landscape, influencing the course of the nation's history. Yet, Monroe's impact is not merely historical. His ideals of unity and growth continue to resonate in America's identity today. Monroe's belief in a united America, in the strength of its people, resonates in today's political discourse. His doctrine of non-intervention remains a cornerstone of American foreign policy. His vision of an expansive, interconnected nation lies at the heart of American infrastructure. His commitment to unity lives on in the American spirit. Monroe was more than just a president. He was a visionary, a leader, and a unifier. His influence remains etched in the American cultural and political landscape. James Monroe, an era of unity, shaping the American landscape. A tale of a leader whose influence continues to reverberate through the ages. The story of James Monroe is a testament to the power of unity, 
resilience, and visionary leadership. It's a tale that underscores the undying spirit of America. We remember Monroe, not just as the fifth president, but as a man who shaped the early American landscape. His legacy continues to inspire and guide us. In studying Monroe, we gain invaluable insights into the foundation of our nation. We learn the importance of unity, of resilience, and of visionary leadership. James Monroe, an era of unity, a legacy of growth, an American icon who shaped the nation we know today. Join us as we delve deeper into the life and legacy of James Monroe, exploring how his era of unity shaped the American landscape. In Monroe's story, we find the roots of our own. His era of unity reminds us of the strength inherent in our unity and our shared American identity. As we traverse the intricate tapestry of Monroe's life, we uncover the threads that bind us together as a nation. Together, we explore the roots of our shared history. Monroe's legacy is a testament to the power of unity, the strength of a shared vision. His story is ours, a tale of unity and growth amidst challenges. As we conclude our exploration of James Monroe, stay tuned for our next video, where we'll uncover the life and times of John Quincy Adams, the sixth president of the United States. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell to continue this fascinating historical voyage. Until then, this is Charting the Course of USA Presidents, signing off. Stay curious, stay historical,